Welcome to Northwoods Angling. It is a special day today, guys. We are on the St. Croix River fishing for leg sturgeon. And today, we have a very special guest. We have Chat Cats fishing out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, he's here for the journey. Man, it's awesome, guys. I'm going for a bucket list fish that I've always wanted to catch, and that is the notorious lake sturgeon. And uh, really looking forward to seeing what we can do tonight. We have some night crawlers, we have some shad, we have all the rods out. We are fishing on the St. Croix River in Minnesota. My first time here. It's been an epic trip so far. And um, glad to be here. Appreciate you guys inviting me. I'm glad you came. We're excited. Let's catch some fish. Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles. Fish on. This is the Lake Sturgeon, the feisty runs, pure bruteness, pure power. It's like a fish on steroids, I tell you. He hasn't dug on you yet. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's not fighting because it's wrapped up in that line. It's gonna get out and he's gonna take off. Look at that. Here he goes. Here he goes. Yep. <laughs> That's that is digging. Man, he's just peeling drag right now. I can't even do anything. That fish was wrapped up and it came unwrapped and it is taken off and it is pulling like crazy right now. Yeah, he has a lot of steam, a lot of adrenaline. Northwoods angling, they know how to get it done. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out Chat Cats Fishing, he catches a lot of big blue cats. Um, he does some shore stuff too. Shows you a lot of different techniques on fishing for catfish. And uh, he's a heck of a guy. And he's wrapped up again. He's wrapped up again. And they do that a lot. They do spin. That's a high 40 inch, would you yep, say? Yeah, I would say it is. Look at that, guys. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Let's go and get this one back in the water, get him back to its home. When fighting these fish, I'm telling you, their runs are ferocious. Their strength is pure bruteness. And they don't mess around. I didn't think they were they would fight this hard to be honest. That's just a channel. Look at that. Oh, oh my God, brother! <laughs> That's my song! That's my song! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, this oh! That is a pig! Oh, it is a pig! Holy moly! Dude! Knocks all around! Oh my gosh, Jill. Oh man! Jill, that was unreal. What the heck just happened? All right, guys, look at this tub right here. New personal best channel catfish here on the St. Croix River, Minnesota. Just caught my personal best lake sturgeon, followed up by my personal best channel catfish. It does not get any better than this. Look at that, guys. Just look at that tub. Look at that stomach right there. Pure beauty right there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and release this bad boy. Okay, this is what it's all about. This is what it's about, guys, right here. There he goes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice fish, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Northwoods Angling guys, they know what's up. Okay, they know what's up. Hard work pays off, persistence, man. Whew. If you guys have not checked out Northwoods Angling, please do so right now. <laughs> Dude, that was up, man. That was like a I think that fish was still on the bottom by the boat. You think so? Yeah, oh yeah. All righty. Yeah, Joe. He's staying right here. You're, you're good. Just keep him away from this guy. Definitely. Pure strength. Look at that. Just look at that rod. When you have that rod stay bent like that, you know it's a good one. Caught a blue that's fought like that? 
they pull though this the thing with the sturgeon is that they move like a bass but they pull like a catfish you know so you have a combination of the two i don't know if that's a great way to say it but <laughs> that's just in my opinion in a way oh, coming up she's not going to jump or else you would have saw that line move a little bit further left yeah there she's right here it's a nice Good one fish probably just about as big as your other one not quite a personal best but pretty close to it joe it's like 40 something inches nice fish that's a beauty right there it just doesn't get any better than this i don't know what to say everyone should experience a fight like this catching a sturgeon they've been around forever and they're they're just a i mean look the ecosystem of these fish are just amazing they're healthy they're still living it shows that these fish are just uh what's the word i'm looking for um, they're surviving they're, they've they've lived outlived anything in this river system yeah they've just been around the longest these fish are just an amazing fish to catch if you've never caught a sturgeon you definitely need to get yourself on one because i mean just look at this it just it just does not get any better i mean i don't know what to say everybody should experience something like this all right guys let's go ahead and get this fish back in the water here we go Boom. Oh, she gave you a nice splash. Nice splash though. right there for the camera, guys. Awesome. That's what's up. Awesome. That's what's up that right there. so great. <laughs> Fish on. Look at that. That's what's up. He's like, chat cats. Not today. And I'm like, no, it's on. Serious. That's some serious rod, rod bending ben. right there. I hope that's all fish and not the anchor, but I'm pretty sure that's just fish. Yeah. That is all fish right there. It has been lights out, guys. Really good fishing. Um, we've got some pretty good ones too, so. You moved it at all? It's on the anchor. It is? It sure is. What? It's on the anchor, I heard it. So when we get the fish, you guys, we gotta pull the anchor up. We'll pull the fish up with the anchor and we'll unwrap it there. And then you don't have a big cluster of uh, issues, which this can produce if you don't do it. So what do you need me to do? Nothing, you just stay right there, okay? Reel up with, him. Reel up with me. So he's reeling up as I'm pulling this anchor up, guys. And this happens when you have a lot of rods out. I think he's out of it. It's not out of it. Unless it is, yep. it is. Yeah, it's a big one. I thought that was the anchor. That, um, oh, my I'm gonna be honest, you guys, that really excites me. Your face. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> Your face. You pulled it. That you're, wasn't the anchor. <laughs> That's a fish, guys. I told you it wasn't. And you're like, it sounded like it. I don't think he's that big, though. Well, we're going to find out here real quick. See? That's a pretty good fish. That's a good one, though. That is, a, that is your second biggest fish you've caught. Look at that, guys. That's a tank. It's a nice one. Got to spoil you a little bit, Joel. Oh, yeah. This is what I came here, guys. <laughs> It was for the lake sturgeon. You can tell there was a parasite that was on him right there on the top of its head. So Those lampreys will suck on, you know, any sturgeon down and there. And right here, too, on its uh, spine. Yeah, it's got a few a few scars on it. And some of the some of the lampreys actually fall off as you're reeling them in, and uh, some stay on there and come in the boat. And I mean, they're native to the water, so they don't kill the fish. So right, let's guys. let her back. Let's go and get this fish back in the water. Head first, hang on to the tail. Here's the best part right here, guys. Such awesome fish. Best part's watching them swim away. <laughs> <laughs>